Hey everyone, it is Pixel Plum Bobs here, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a current household again. I know, three current households now, it's a bit insane. But, um, I've recently been playing Sims 4, which I have been struggling to do because I have not been able to get into Sims 4 in a while and just enjoying the gameplay and everything. But the other day I made a Sim here, Adeline Bradford, and I've been really loving playing her and everything, and it's just so chill and, like, everything. And I first started off with not posting her to my tumblr and everything but now i'm gonna start posting her to my tumblr because i'm enjoying her so much so i kind of feel like i'm gonna get pretty far when i play her so i want to like you know show it off and since i'm doing that i'm putting my um bean rainbow sea uh current household uh, from the sims 3 on a little bit of a hiatus well not really a hiatus but just kind of on a hold for right now because i'm pretty much i'm like farther in my leprosy for the sims 3 that i am with my rainbow c and i'm enjoying my leprosy a little bit more than my rainbow c so i'm just going to be playing with my leprosy family at the moment and my bradford family and i know today's video is supposed to be like my start of my university but i didn't really feel like jumping into sims 3 and i was already in sims 4 all day because i was playing with my family all day and stuff like that so um that will be going up maybe thursday or something like that or friday i don't really know what my schedule is going to be I'm just kind of winging my schedule here. I'm trying to upload every single day, and if I don't, then I don't. I don't really know what else to sort of say, but I'm going to stop rambling and show off my family because there's a lot to kind of explain, and I'm really, really excited. But because I have a lot to explain, I'm actually going to jump onto my Tumblr because I wrote a backstory out for my sim, and I kind of just want to uh, read that out for you guys once I introduce you to my sim because it'll just make more sense and everything, so... Here we have Adeline Bradford, and she is, wants to be, well, yeah, she basically is a nerd brain. She is very, like, into all that type of, like, logic and reading books and all that stuff, which I love, because, like, I never really play with nerd brain sims, but I love it, that she's kind of like that. And she's also family-oriented, she's a genius, and she's also ambitious. So, this is her first outfit. Um, I gave her, like, what, three or four outfits? I don't know, but I'll give you a close-up of her face. She's actually super cute. I really love her. She kind of has, like, this, um richie kind of look going on like a classy kind of look it's kind of how she dresses like you won't really catch her in anything without jewelry and you won't catch her in like sweatpants basically unless she's going to sleep she kind of just really cares about her style and how she looks and stuff and so those are her everyday outfits and this is her formal which is very like risky a little bit kind of and i like it though and then this is her athletic wear and then her sleepwear is pretty basic and really cute actually i like the whole like pink scheme of it and then this is her formal wear a little more classy which i love about her she's just so different from all my sims and then she that's her swimmer so that is basically adeline bradford now i'm going to jump into her backstory basically so i wrote here let me grab my laptop <laughs> So it says, Adeline grew up in a pretty wealthy and top-notch family. Her mother was a fantastic surgeon and her dad was a politician. Adeline was an only child and was forced to grow up like her mother. Adeline is currently in a medical career and is loving every second of it. She's happy to be taking after her mother, but due to her childhood, she isn't all that social. People think she's very stuck up because of how she looks. She keeps to herself. That's all she's ever known to do. She never had that much luck with friends or even dating for that matter. She currently lives in Windenburg, just starting out her life and busting her ass in the medical field. She's also a bit brainy since she spent most of her life working hard in school to impress her parents and ended up doing, ended up, well, and ended up going to the best college in the country. She's a lover of ch playing chess and reading books. Also in her free time, she likes to go running and tends to eat pretty clean and healthy because she's a doctor, so she kind of knows what like all the bad food does to your body. So she's going to eat clean and work out because that's just kind of how I see her as like a type of sim. And I love that because it's like she kind of like strives to be perfect even though she's really flawless and stuff. So I kind of like that. Um... Hmm. Um, she grew up in a very high life, very high in life, and that's how she's going to continue on her the family name. Her family name is very high up there, and she needs to be careful to not mess that up since her parents aren't around. Her parents are no longer alive because they were pretty old when they, when she grew up, actually. They were already, like, pretty old and ready to pass on. So it says she tried to, the whole dating thing, and she met Paolo, Paolo Roca from Windenburg, and it says, um... She met Paolo and wound up getting cheated on. He was already married. He was married to uh, Katrina Ca oh, well, not Katrina Caliente. She was- I'm sorry if you hear my cat meowing. I'm literally gonna punch her in the head. Not literally. Don't take that seriously. But, like, she's always interrupting me. But anyway, um, she- Paolo was married to Katrina, and I didn't see it till I saw they got together as boyfriend and girlfriend. And I was like, um, excuse you, that's not gonna happen. And then after a while, even though he- um, divorced her i still didn't like him so i wanted her to break up with him so she played it off like she didn't know that paolo was actually like you know 
married so after he divorced katrina she went and broke up with him on the same day that he broke like he divorced her so he was like two times a heartbreak so it was like really bad for him but then she kicked him out because she's like i'm not doing that because she doesn't deal with that shit she does not take that shit at all so she said she played it cool like she didn't know Topala ended it with his wife and Adeline ended it with him the very same time, leaving him two times the heartbreak. She kicked him out and masked her feelings, afraid of letting anyone in again. But there just happens to be a new guy that lives nearby named Chester that's recently been on her, been her shoulder to cry on. Maybe he'll end up being the guy she needs. So that's basically the backstory for um, Adeline here. And I really liked it. It kind of just like all came together on its own. I didn't really have to like make it up. It kind of just all fit together. I just feel... Like, it just did because of how she is as a person and everything. So, um, yeah, we are in Windenburg, by the way, and um, we're just living on our own. We're not doing that well for money. I mean, we're okay. We have, like, 3,000 simoleons, but we're doing okay with money. We're just kind of working with our job, and I don't want to jump into anything with her having kids yet until she's pretty high in her career because I just feel like that kind of balances better. At least for me, it balances better because I want her to be really good at her career and care a lot about her career. So... I'm going to show off her house a little bit. There's nothing really too special about it, honestly, because she lives in Windenburg. It was just a starter house. So, this is where she's living. It's just like a two bedroom, no, not two bedroom, um, uh, what is it called? I don't know, two story, there it is, two story house. And it's just the basic one. Um, I didn't change anything inside really at all. Uh, besides, I canceled, I canceled. Her, I got rid of her TV and I got rid of, um, her sofa and everything and gave her a woodworking table because she needed that for her aspiration which she's also two out of four on which is actually really good and in her job she's in a medical career like i said she is level four in the doctor career and she's doing pretty pretty crappy right now because we diagnosed like two sims wrong yikes but whatever and as for her skills she doesn't really have that many besides like lo logic level six which is amazing um i never had a sim actually like go that far with logic before so i think it's pretty cool and everything else is like two or three and the charisma is level three because she's like talks to a lot of people throughout her day at work and everything and as for friends she knows a ton a ton a ton of people because of being as a doctor and stuff so i'm just going to point out the most important people so here we have chester as you can see and yes i named him chester after the singer from lincoln park because i just kind of was like i needed that i needed that in my life and like he kind of look he kind of reminds me of chester for some reason from lincoln park and it's just kind of like I had to but like he's super cute i love him and he i like how different they are from each other like she's kind of like a more of like a i don't know how to say it's it like prissy not like i don't know how to explain it. like she is just i want to kind of say stuck up because she kind of is kind of stuck up in her in a way and she kind of just keeps to herself she just likes to be classy she dresses classy he dresses in like ripped jeans and got tattoos and all that stuff so that's how kind of how i see it and i like how different he is from her so I am just going to continue on with that. And since he's here, we know a few things about him. He does not have a job. He's a music lover. He's a slob. And he's ambitious. So they have one thing in common. Um, he's also going... I'm going to... Once he moves in and, and everything happens between them, which will be like the next update and everything, I'll have more to update with you guys on. Um, he will be in the music career because he loves music. His aspiration is like the musical gene... Whatever it's called. I don't know. The musical something. I don't know. It's Yeah, that. And so, yeah, he's a important character in our little gameplay here. And then here we have Paolo. And as you can tell, it is pretty crappy going between them. Uh, they didn't really last that long, honestly. It was like maybe even a week at the most. And then he moved in and I saw that he was married. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to last. That's not happening. I don't like that. So, and here we have another girl that's kind of like our friend from the... Um, hospital so we always talk to her so that's sarah that we really know and we're also kind of good friends with jade um not really on else maybe ava a little bit she tries to hang out with us a little bit same with marcus it was just during like that greet when the neighbors come and greet you and stuff so that's basically them and she's also going to age up in 15 days because i've been playing her so much she's almost about to be an adult it's kind of crazy and um yeah, I'm just really excited to see where she goes in her life and what's going to happen. Because I, I just really, I, I know I say this all the time, but I really see myself going far with these guys. And, like, it makes me really happy because, like, I'm doing things that I don't really do in The Sims 4. Like, I don't really always play the medical career. And if I do, I never last in it. Or, I, like, I just like that I'm not really focusing on the family aspect so much right now. And that's something different because I usually just go and get them to have kids right away. And I just want to focus on their careers right now. And I want her to get pretty far in her career before she even has a kid. So right now, that's what we're focusing on. And if she has kids in adulthood, then that's fine. I really don't care. And I'm planning on getting her with Chester. He is currently single. And I'm hoping <laughs> that he keeps it that way because I created him and he's really hot. And he's on the gallery if you guys want him. Um, all his CC is on my Tumblr. Um, 
it's linked below. His hair is custom. His hair isn't custom content. It comes with the expansion pack or whatever. And his glasses are custom content. His shirt isn't. Or his shirt is custom content. His jeans are custom content, and his shoes are from base game, I think. So um, yeah, that's basically it for them. And this is just upstairs where she lives. Um, she likes reading books, so she does where she like reads her books, like a book corner, book nook. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I didn't really change anything about the house, and that's kind of creepy. She's sleeping with her eyes open. I don't know, but yeah. Um, I've been talking for so long, and this video is probably kind of short, but I don't know. I, I feel kind of insane because I just uploaded three current households in three days, um, but probably for next month, I'm definitely going to be up updating you guys on them, maybe in the next few weeks because I'm playing them so much, um, and if you guys want to see them on my Tumblr, I will link that below as well, um, and I probably won't be uploading the Bean Rainbow Sea current household next month because they're kind of on my Holt and hiatus and stuff. So, you'll definitely be seeing the Bean Rainbow Sea, or not the Bean Rainbow Sea, you'll be definitely seeing, uh, the Bradfords, and you will definitely be seeing, um, my Lepacy, my Locket Lepacy, so you'll definitely be seeing those, and I'm still posting them on my Tumblr, but Locket Lepacy is gonna be still posted on my Tumblr, and so will the Bradfords, but not the Bean Rainbow Sea. Hope that, I hope you kind of understand that, you know, yeah. Um, so, I know a lot of people wanted me to post Sims 4 content on my channel too, so this is kind of like my Sims 4 content. I'm thinking of starting up some Let's Plays for Sims 4, but right now I kind of just want to take it one Let's Play at a time, as I haven't even started my first Let's Play on my channel, so I just kind of want to take it one step at a time and not jump into, like, 5,000 Let's Plays and then not end up doing any of them, so, because I know myself, and I'm probably never going to finish it, so that's not going to be good. But yeah, enough of rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A big, big like and subscribe down below. I love you all so much. Hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.